Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. The new artifacts in Perfect World Mobile are super strong, and I'm here to explain just how easy it is to make your artifacts and make them extremely strong. There are different ways to get new skills for your artifacts, how to craft them, how to carve them, how to get them to level 100 carving. I'm going to help you decide on which artifact you want to get to 100 carving, okay? So it does take silver to level up your artifact, the carving. And you only want to do carving on your main artifact. So depending on your class and what you want to do, you're going to get a different artifact. For my assassin, it's going to be the Purgatory Tower. Because as an assassin, your job is to assassinate. And sometimes if you're not doing enough damage, or if your enemy reses with a red book, or you know they just have a sliver of life left, go ahead and drop that tower on them. <laughs> Also, you can drop the tower on them to begin with because the tower, if you get the right skills, I'm going to show you how to get more skills for your tower, is it, it can debuff them. It can debuff them both for magic defense and physical defense. All right, so you're going to need about 50 chests. It's very hard to get the five purgatory shards from this box, so you need 50 chests most likely it's gonna take about 8,000 bound ingots so you can save up if you really want this tower it's a good DPS tower good for PvP not so good for PvE if you want to PvE I recommend the bell if you go to the realm war shop go to the realm war shop for 30 realm shards you can get that bell that bell is a great PvE bell and it will help heal and give your team a shield that can possibly help you get through that last boss AOE for Molten Core. I'm not sure how effective it is. I'm still, I still don't have all 30 shards. I'll, I'll test it. I'll probably get it on my barb. <clears throat> or you can get the Jade Zither. The Jade Zither also in the Realm Shard is also very good. And uh, that is more of a hybrid PvP, but also okay for PvE. It does heal you, which is good for PvE, the Jade Zither. And then the Hypnotize allows you to get away if someone is chasing you. So it has uh, abilities for PvP as well. So it's, it's, it's up to you whether you want to be full PvE, which would be, which would be the Bell. Or if you want to be hybrid PvP PvE, which would be that uh, Jade Zither. Now, if you want to be all PvP, which is kind of what an assassin is, all right? I mean, you, you focus as PvP, then you should get the Purgatory Tower. And you just drop a tower on your enemies, all right? <laughs> it's kind of funny. But yeah, so now I've made my tower and I I'm got it to carving. I'm gonna get a carving up to 20. I'm out of I'm out of these chi crystals. You get chi crystals from uh, from events. I got some chi crystals from that uh, guild league. I got it from the guild league chest on Thursdays. Now you have to get get these with silver, which is fine. And I'm gonna get it to 20. So. <clears throat> the carving levels there are different levels like you get it to 10 you get it to 20 get it to 30 get it to 25 and your your the amount of damage that's that your artifact will do will go up and if you want to maximize that effect you're going to have to get it to level 100 so it's kind of hard to get all of your artifacts to 100 but i do recommend that you have a pve and also a PvP. So if you want to focus on PvP, you, you probably want to get a level 100 carving Purgatory Tower. But you can still use an Ocean Orb. I'm, I'm most likely going to make an Ocean Orb for my smaller barb, which is mostly focused on PvE. And I'm going to show you in the next video 
on how to do a free-to-play PvE Ocean Orb. And uh, that's going to be great. Uh, so you might also, if you're having a hard time staying alive as an assassin, go ahead and make an Ocean Orb. So that video will probably help you as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on that after this video. But yeah, you can get an Ocean Orb from, from, the, from the shop. <clears throat> And uh, that is that is all right. The ocean orb is all right for PVE, and you might want to get the carving level on the ocean orb up to maybe twenty, so that it can heal you a little bit better. However, however, as an assassin, I and if you want to focus on PVP, probably get that Purgatory Tower to one hundred to get the most burst damage. All right, so you can start sending. All right, so what you can do. All your artifacts, they do have, they do have uh, substats. Each artifact you craft has a substat. When you craft an artifact that is R4, those will be stronger substats. When you craft an artifact with that's R1, that's a rank one artifact, it's going to have weaker substats. It's going to have the same type of substats but weaker. So, if you're a whale. You want to transfer only strong rank 4 usable substats over. But, you know, I don't really care. <laughs> I'll take rank 1, rank 2, rank 3, rank 4 substats as long as they are usable by my assassin. So, yeah, so this ocean orb is pretty good. I'll most likely build an ocean orb... For my assassin for PVE situations, it's a more uh, it's it's not as strong as a Jade Zither. However, it is easier and cheaper to get, and you can build an Ocean Orb a lot easier than it would be to build a fully built Jade Zither. So we're gonna transfer these bonus stats. Your 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 R4 artifacts can have up to eight stats so you want to transfer as many good stats as possible all right that's increased damage versus wing elf so th that's good because an assassin you want to assassinate probably clerics and archers right so that's that's a pretty good stat i like it i like it all right so what we're going to need to do we're going to have to get more skills for my Purgatory Tower. Plus, we're going to have to level up its skills. And we're going to have to get some more bonus stats. And the way to do that is by crafting more Purgatory Towers. Once you have one Legendary Purgatory Towers, you can start making more. And uh, Purgatory Towers cost more than Ocean Orbs and War Drums. Oh, I got my War Drum from Mirage Dungeon. If you haven't seen it, go check out my Ethereal Abode Mirage video and that's floor 21 can show you how to get like the war drum or the scenery scroll. Those are, you, you want to get one of every artifact so that you can level up the sprite level. You, you don't have to level up the sprites to max. Just level up each sprite stat by a little bit because as it goes up it takes more and more it's harder to level up the sprites so just level them up a little bit until later on we'll be able to get more resources and we can level up the sprite stats even more all right so i made a r2 purgatory tower that is crafting uh, and I didn't I just crafted one without using the special with this without using those special those uh, special agents that cost silver and I got a demon fright I got additional skill and what you can do you can transfer the demon skill to my purgatory tower you know when you get your r4 purgatory tower from that box it only has one skill so it's not it's not that good. What you need to do, get all three skills and try to level up all of those skills to five. I'm trying to. 
get the second skill, which allows the Purgatory Towers to deal more damage. And I'm trying to get the third skill, which debuffs the enemy's uh, physical defense. All right, so you see these Chi Flask. When you craft and you use Chi Flasks, you have a higher chance of getting R4s. And if you're a whale, you'll be trying to do the R4 so that you get better substats. And you can transfer eight of the R4 substats will be better. However, I don't, I don't recommend doing that. Uh, not... <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to transfer the substats. M defense is good. So it's strong, strong, strong substats. The problem is you can't have duplicate. You see, I have M defense slightly higher. So you can't just stack the artifact with all magic defense or all uh, extra damage versus wing elves. One thing about artifacts is that the substats must be eight different type of substats. So you can't make your artifact specifically for one thing. You can spread them out. You can try to get more offensive stats to make it more offensive if you're an assassin. Or you can make it more defensive if uh, if it's for PVE or if you if you want to uh, survive better. Right now, I don't care. I just want to get eight stats. All right, so these elemental orbs is how you is how you level up the sprite levels. Like I said, you don't have to level up too high. Just level up each sprite a little bit so you can get those bonus stats. It's sort of like. The codex that you have for uh, sacred books. Okay, I, so you can craft more purgatory towers. So I'm getting, I'm getting rank two purple purgatory towers, and each time. All right, so this is magic. So the bonus stat is trash. However, I can use the trait and. I got another trait, and it has up my demon fright, uh, my demon fright trait up to level two. What I need now is the level is the third skill. So I'm I'm going to have to keep crafting. I'm going to have to keep crafting more purgatory towers. Try to level up my skills. It's going to make your it's going to make your purgatory tower stronger. All right. So even without using chi flask, you can still make. R1, R2, R3. I don't think you're very likely to get R4s without Chi Flask. But R3 is still pretty strong. And I got my cr uh, crushed armor. I did get my debuff. So now my Purgatory Tower. If you drop the Purgatory Tower and you have these skills, they will make the Purgatory Tower so much stronger. Oh, okay. So now I have reduced damage from humans. Which is great. As an assassin, I now take less damage <clears throat> from wizards. I take less damage from blade masters. So, so that's good. It gives me a little bit more tankiness. And crit damage. All right, so that's useless. But I did get a trait that I can use to upgrade my demon fright. My Demon Fright now has 22% more damage and increased range. Alright, so I want to get all 8 substats. I, I just want them to be useful. I don't want M crit. I don't want magic. Let's, let's go. Let's make some more. Alright, let's see. Craft... Good luck. All right, you, you see that it takes 12,000 silver ingots to craft a purgatory tower. That's kind of expensive. So I'm going to make an ocean orb, a free-to-play ocean orb video right after this. And that's going to be a great starting, a great PvE uh, artifact. And I'm going to craft that for my barb. So you're going to love it. And it's a whole lot cheaper to craft ocean orbs. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Pugnacity, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's a great bonus stat. I'll take it. 
Demon Fright. I'm going to have level 5 Demon Fright. Now, skill damage increased by 38%. That's max. You can't get more than level 5 on any of the skills. But now I have Pugnacity, which is great. It's hoping for more attack, uh, attack buffs. So all of these substats, you only get the substats for for the Purgatory Tower artifact when you have the Purgatory Tower equipped. If you equip the Ocean Orb that you make, none of these substats will will actually uh, will actually be equipped. You ha you have to actually add substats to that Ocean Orb if you want to have substats. The sprite level will always be there. You will always have some CP, some uh, some battle rating from the sprite level. All right, now I got some dexterity. That's good. I almost have. I'm almost good. I'm almost good. I almost have eight. I'm having difficulty to get in crushed armor, but as long as I have all three skills, I'm fine. I just want to have all three skills. And I also want to have eight substats. I feel like once I have eight substats and all three skills, I feel like I have a good artifact. And I'll slowly up the carving to 100. You don't have to do that right away, but it will make your Purgatory Tower hit a lot harder. I don't think it's worth the Chief Flask. <clears throat> Unless you're a whale. If you're a whale and you want to just have R4 substats that you need Chi Flask to get you the higher ranking substats. So I'm just crafting them R1. M crit. Completely useless. Useless. Demon Fright is already level 5, so that's useless. So. That craft was bad. As you craft, as you craft more, as more of your skills, uh, as more of the skills on your Purgatory Tower or your artifact is level up to five, the less effective it is to craft more. Because sometimes you get useless traits, you get useless skills. Okay, I get reduced damage from Untamed. That's good. I'm going to take less damage from enemy assassins. I'm going to take less damage from enemy barbarians. That's a great substat. Let's let's uh, let's try to get one more. Almost there. All right, give me something useful. Strength. I'll take that. I'm going to have more physical defense, and I'm going to have more physical attack. And now I think I'm done. There, my friends, is how you level up and finish your Purgatory Tower. Your Purgatory Tower is looking good. I have some good skills. Level 4, Magic Defense debuff. Level 5, Purgatory Tower damage increase. Only have a level 1 Physical Defense debuff. I'm not happy with that, but I'm good. I started out with 700 KBR. At the end of this video, with this Purgatory Tower done, I have 723 K BR. If you love this video, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and comment below. To be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card June 30th, 2020. I'll see you in the next video.